Hi again everyone, this is the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage. You are looking at the Neki Supernova Ultra Mark II and I thought I would do a video on how to thread this machine. For years I've been making videos of machines and didn't always think to make threading videos and some of you have asked and so if I have the machine in my person and in my possession I thought I would do that for you. Now this is going to, this model is going to thread very similarly, similarly, <laughs> similarly to the Neki Supernova. However, there are some slight differences. Uh, first of all, I'm going to try to tilt this towards you guys. You see in the back, of course, it's designed for double needle, double needle stitching, but uh, the spool pin is going to be down here and it's kind of at an angle. If you get one, you say, hey, is it bent? No, it's supposed to be at an angle. That's how it was designed. Now, the Neki Supernova, the green and cream machine, it has its spool pin up top, and it's just a design change. It doesn't really, um, it should not impact you one way or the other. Just something for you to know. I've got thread, I've got thread in my hand here that is um, brown. Hopefully it'll show. Now, unlike the uh, Nova, let's see here, I'm going to go ahead and put this thread in here. I'm trying to remember if it has a little spot to get it in or if I have to literally thread the hole. Sometimes they have these little slits where you can kind of come in and just sort of make your life easy and I don't see it here. That's fine. Not a big deal. If you can thread a needle, you can certainly thread a hole this, this big. Okay, it's like an eighth of an inch, a little more. Okay, I'm just going to come through. You could pick, I guess you could pick either hole if you wanted. Uh, same thing over here. I've got to thread it through. I'll just keep it. The reason you have two holes is because it's designed for two threads and two, two different needles um, or double needle. So now that we have gotten it up here, and again, I'm repeating, I'm staying with the right hole and the right hole. So let's go ahead and I'm going to lower the, uh, the camera now because you guys are going to need that lower perspective in order to see me do the rest of the threading. Okay, so we're going to come down and like uh, as you are used to doing with many uh, sewing machines, you're going to come around like the shape of a J and you're going to come and pull and you'll know because you'll have the tension of the check spring. You don't have that then you don't have it uh, threaded through your here we go uh, tension assembly but I do mine is here and the check spring is when I pull up you can see the check spring moving and that's how you know that check spring is important because you're not going to get good tension without it or proper tension I should say okay so this one is fairly easy I simply brought the thread around I wasn't even looking at it you know when I got it to take. Now you want to come back, come back into this little slot here. The purpose of all these little uh, guides and slots is to make sure that uh, the thread doesn't get squirrely when it when you're sewing, right? Uh, it's all part of the tensioning process. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit better view here because now that we're here we've got to come up and we've got to go into the Take up arm and I'm going to thread it right through or so I, there we go. Uh, make sure, now notice, notice the thread wanted to flop right out, right? You have to watch yourself, go check behind yourself. You have to give slack to the thread when you're trying to thread a sewing machine. But and if it comes out, just flop it back in behind this piece. Um, it's not your fault guys, it's just, you know, it's the nature of an analog device, no big deal. Just be sure you're aware of it, because if you don't spot that, you'll have problems. It's like, oh, what's wrong with my machine now? Well, it's 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 user error, so um, don't feel too bad. Okay, so we're coming back down. We're going to come here, and of course, there's a there's a a little catch. Let's let's zoom in on this one, folks. Let me make sure you can see what the heck I'm doing here. Make sure I can see what I'm showing you. Okay. So what we want, we're not coming behind here. There's a, there's a thread guide that we want to catch. 
It's a little tricky because it's very flat. I think I almost had it there. You want to catch it around this little piece and pull. Now, is it in? Apparently not because it wanted to flop out. But it should catch here for us. And just let me point to this in case you're not seeing what I'm trying to do. I wanted the thread to come behind this, not that. This is part, this big piece is part of it. But we want it to catch behind here. Let's see. Now, what should happen, well, it keeps, keeps popping out. Let's try this. Maybe I'm going about it the backwards way. I have to go back and check the manual. There are times when you will forget. You'll have a manual and then you'll just totally forget what you were supposed to be doing. You can also open the door here, which is useful. Yeah, let's see what I have managed to engage or not. There we go. Okay. So what I've, what I've done here, so I thought I had, I want to get it on there. You will do stuff like what you see me doing here, especially when you're new to a machine, when you've first gotten it. So what I'm trying to do is to get this thread. I'm getting it around here, but then I need to pull it in, right? I need to pull it in and get it to stay. And I have a little theory that maybe this this little guide got it got it got bent a little bit or maybe this piece was pulled out at some point. So I'm going to very carefully, very gently push in just a little bit. That gives me more clearance to get my thread around this little piece. Try getting our uh, notice you can't pull this out. You gotta push this in. Did I say in or out? Sorry, pulling it out so that our door closes. When you first get a sewing machine model, you will do this a lot. <laughs> You'll be like, what am I doing? What's going on here? This is a slightly different catch, I believe. It's very different from the Neki Supernova. So just like me, if you're, I've done this before, but it's just been a while, but you may be doing it for the first time. Don't give up. Don't let it frustrate you. It's just waiting. And I know how it is to go because I've done it, but now I've got to get it to behave once again. There we go. Let's see if that does the trick. And I'm pulling. Hmm, doesn't want to stay. All right, let's try this way. Maybe I can remember. Ha ha. Well, there you go. Uh, if I had gone back and read the manual, as I'm always lecturing you guys to do, you would understand what I, why it wasn't working. I was coming in, and I do this on purpose. I want you guys to see me uh, sort of trying to make my way with this thing. Because if you do, you won't feel bad when you're you're in the same spot. Okay. You, you can't be too hard on yourself. For, for You'll have these moments where you think, oh, really? Boy. So I was trying to go over and come in, but what I really wanted to do was go behind. Here, let's pull it out and we'll do it again. So you know it wasn't a one-off <laughs> one accident uh, in terms of, I got a lot of thread going on here. Looks like I pulled a lot <laughs> in the process of getting this thing threaded. So um, let's just... Let's just keep pulling. We'll get to there. There we go. Okay. So uh, here, I was doing this, right? I was trying to come in and get get this to catch. But all I had to do was come over like this. And it's threaded. So, hey, guys, you got to laugh at yourself. There's just, just you know what? Uh, sometimes it's better to laugh than to, than to stress. Uh, the machine doesn't care. The machine will... Uh, will not make fun of you. It will just sit here and it will wait, as I've mentioned to you guys many times. The machine will wait until you have figured out what it wants 
and then it will be happy. And until then, the machine is happy to sit and wait for you. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get a little bit better perspective here. Okay, now that we've had our comic relief, let's continue on. Um, I'm going to lower this. I think I'm going to lower it. Hold on a minute. Now, here we are. I'm going to show this to you two ways, guys. I'm going to show you the way you would normally do it on virtually any vintage sewing machine. Of course, now that we are down below, we've gotten the all of this business taken care of. You can see right here, there are two. We'll just take the first one if you want. A thread guide. This is the last thread guide that you're going to hit. Oops, I think I got that side. Um, this is the last thread guide you're going to hit before you thread the needle. Now, as as is true almost always, what do we do? We are going to take the thread and just try to push it through. It's a size 16 needle, but still. And with the right light, I should be able to thread it. This thread is not that heavy. Okay, I've got my scissors because I want a clean, clean break on my thread when I go to get it through the needle. Make life a little bit easier here. Okay. And because we've still got lovely natural light, guys, but I'm thinking I might want to zoom in a bit, and I'm going to maybe put a little bit more light on this. I have been known to be able to thread a needle just by, you know, by sight, it really helps. I really prefer daylight or even uh, trying to highlight the, the hole in the needle without blinding us in the process. Okay, and as I suspected with the size 16 needle, that wasn't that bad, okay? So, I will. We have now threaded the Neki Supernova Ultra, and I have to remember if if I have, yeah, I do have thread. I can't remember. I've got thread in the bobbin. All right. So we'll go ahead and pull it up. <clears throat> and there comes our bobbin thread, white. So I try, I don't always succeed, but I try to get two different colors of thread. It makes it a lot easier to see what's going on with the stitching. And it makes it easier for you guys to see the two threads that I've got. Now, Notice that I have my, um, make sure this thing's not off. Um, I have my uh, presser bar lift up, okay? You always wanna thread your machine with that because if you thread your machine with the presser bar down and the foot down, you're gonna screw up your tension almost always. Okay, so now what have we got? We have a machine that has been threaded. It has been gone through. And I think our next, our next um, video should hopefully be doing the test stitching, making sure that she's ready to go for a new, <clears throat> a new life, uh, a new owner. Uh, and then I promise before it is sold, we're going to do a video showing you how to use these cute little uh, needle threaders built into the machine, not an extra add-on. They spared no expense in 1959, 1960 for the Neckies. And uh, all of us who love these machines are the beneficiaries, guys, because uh, I don't have to tell you they don't make them like they used to. And that's true of so many things, not just sewing machines. Anyway, take care, and we will see you in the next installment of this uh, series of pink Neckies as I get it ready for a new owner.